we should seek to to be rich in good works, not in the temporary things of this world. Be rich in forgiveness and compassion, concern for our neighbor. These are the eternal riches that we must store up for God. The things of this world are not true riches at all. We, we must seek to store up those riches that will enable us to be inheritors fully of the kingdom of God. This, this is truly spiritual sight. This is illumination. This is true spiritual wisdom. Hello, I hope you are well. God bless you for still being here because I haven't been here for so long and I've got so much to tell you. So I lost my job because I damaged my arm, my right arm. I know exactly how I did it as well, but it's been building up for a while and I would just wake up a few times during the night and my fingers will be totally solid, like numb pins and needles and it's okay it would take like 20 minutes and then it would ease up but one day at work I was using their can opener and everything in the kitchen because it's a commercial kitchen is industrial size and I always I've always been a bit weak like I have never been able to pick up the big soup pot and drain the noodles that was like one of the things I always had to ask one of the big boys to do for me because I could never do it later hours later but um, we made some muffins I made dinner and did a little volcano experiment with the kids which was a really really fun 
I got a phone call from the radiology department saying that I've been booked in for a neck x-ray because I was referred by the doctor to um, my husband was just looking at me <laughs> um, my doctor referred me to get a neck x-ray done to see what's going on here or going on with my arm my son's loving up Georgie and tomorrow I have to head out really early I'll study for help and I've got to go and sort out my medical card because it was brought to my attention that my medical has expired like my card and I need to go and get a new one and before I'm allowed to get a new one I need to get a different type of ID to prove that I live in the province even though I've been here for like over three years it's quite quite a hoo-ha but I'm just going to get on with it so tomorrow is going to be my husband's got a work appointment so I have to go and come back because the kids are sick and I just I don't think they're ready to go back to school so he's going to look after them while I pop out to the government agency to get the provincial ID so that I can then get my medical ID. What? Well, it's just... it's a, a big thing but okay so I'm going to get on with that but I think... I think obviously this might be crazy. Yeah, I think that I'm I'm just going to do what I have to do <laughs> and God willing just say my prayers through it, trust that everything works out. I did contact my boss to say if there is um that I can't return to work because initially I got a doctor's note to get me he let me have two weeks off of work to see if my arm would get better but the inflammation is still going on so I don't feel like I can return to the kitchen because the equipment is just so big and heavy and I know that what tipped my arm over the edge was using their can opener which is a little bit old and sticks and I remember having to force my arm and that pretty much damaged it a bit too much so I had to resign from being in the kitchen but I did contact my boss to ask, yes, I did contact my boss and she says she's going to get back to me about her, a possibility of me being relocated to another part of the department, to another department, part of the company. I do really love the company but it's all in God's hands, his will be done, I just and keep trusting and going to church <laughs> and hopefully everything will just be a little bit smoother the kids will get better please lord and we'll go back to school i'll be i'll have another position for work if that's god's will i'm just gonna go with it home now and it was so smooth getting my photo ID thank you Lord 
glory to God there was virtually yes darling there was virtually no lineup I was in and out really easy and the gentleman who was processing my stuff was so wonderful God bless him don't you just love it when you need someone's help and they are so not just competent but they are just so polite like just so friendly and smiley and just just put you in a good mood you know so I had a lovely time I stopped in at the Dollarama and picked up the kiddies some treats so they're occupied with a slime making kit and a few Easter treats they brought out loads of Easter things so my little one's got bunny ears on right now and is hopping about <laughs> I'm gonna go make some lunch I'm just thinking some veggies some roasted veggies something very simple and as I was coming home uh, I saw my neighbor and she is lovely she's about the same age as me and we are we're quite similar we can relate a lot to each other and she I owe her a great deal because in September I was really having doubts about going to church and I remember it was a Saturday Saturday night and she goes to me let me tell you something and she said something very plainly to me and I actually listened and she said if you ever have doubts about going to church know that it's the evil one trying to keep you away from Christ and she was right and I started going to church the very next day which was Sunday and God bless her all the days of her life may the mother of God always pray for her forever I just I feel like God placed her there that night for a reason and he's placed her as my neighbor for a reason and I just love her very much and she's she told me that she's gonna be away until March and I'm gonna miss her I'm gonna miss her uh, luckily she's taking her phone with her so I'll be able to check in and message her happy Valentine's Day and I'm looking just looking forward to her coming home because I love seeing her beautiful smiling oh, face and I look I look forward to seeing her again so every January I uh, me and my husband love to watch the BBC version of Pride and Prejudice. If you've not seen it, you must see it. It is beautiful. It is the best translation from Jane Austen's book to the screen. Hands down. And Colin Firth and Jennifer Elson, the lady who, uh, the actress that plays uh, Eliza Bennet, um, they are just fantastic. So every and my husband even likes it and you know he he just loves it. He even loves it. So what we usually do is before we start watching the BBC one, because we like to long it out as long as possible, we start with the movie version with Kira Knightley, which is nowhere near as good. <laughs> but it gets us excited to watch the BBC version. So we did that at the beginning of January and it was it's just it's just the best way to start off the year and then a couple of days ago I was like let's watch Bridget Jones's diary and I think the obvious connection is because Colin Firth plays Mr. Darcy in both the BBC Pride and Prejudice and in Bridget Jones's diary and so we watched that and the best line in the entire film obviously is when Mr. Darcy says to Bridget, Bridget I like you I like you very much just as you are. I um, I thought that's exactly how I feel. That's exactly how I feel about the people that I watch on YouTube. YouTube. I like them just the way they are, just as they are. I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye.